Hey hello everyone, welcome back to another LEGO set review from Rick by Rick, and today we have set number 43186. This is going to be a quick review of Bruni the Salamander buildable character, uh, containing 96 pieces and retailing for $13 in the US. Obviously it's a small set aimed for, you know, kids 6 and up. Uh, so, you know, it's a very, very simple buildable character, but, you know, it is still a Disney Frozen set. It's not technically a mini doll based, I know it shows it on the packaging because it's technically under that theme, but... You know, this is basically like the Olaf from last year, and, you know, I, I liked that set enough for what it was, and, you know, it's a pretty small thing, so I figured I'd grab it and check it out. Though I didn't uh, buy this one quite as fast as I bought Olaf, if that says anything. There is a single instruction manual. It's very small, very short. I do kind of like the background for, uh, you know, this one. But in the back, we just have an ad for the uh, little book sets. Interestingly enough, it looks like they retired Mulan, but left all the other three. Uh, so Mulan was kind of the cool one, because it had the Lucky Cricket, but I brick like that, so I don't care. Here's the full set of bills that you get in the box. Before we take a look at Brooding the Salamander, let's take a quick look at the uh, other miscellaneous stuff. And we have a little campfire and some marshmallows uh, to roast, as well as the snowflake, which I presume is a snack for Bruni. Uh, and... Yeah, uh, the campfire is very simple. It's literally just a base of a 4x4 round plate with a 2x2 two two round tile with a single stud in the center. And it does have four of these printed, um, you know, uh, wood log 1x1 one one round tiles, which is interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a little bit odd that it's just a straight X, you know, it doesn't feel supernatural, but, uh, you know, it's, it's okay. And I guess maybe it is kind of a little bit odd and different because we do have this flame piece, which... 99% sure this is a new color scheme where we have the, uh, you know, traditional orange that you would kind of expect. This might actually be like the neon orange. I can't quite tell, but it's mixed with like a, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if that's opalescent, um, like that opalescent finish, or if this is just like glittery trans pink. I, I'm leaning towards opalescent because it reflects pretty blue, um, but, you know, interesting color combination there. And then you have the um, marshmallows, which you can roast. One of them has a tan slider plate on the top to make it look like it is a little bit more cooked than the other but these are just kind of like mirrored builds of each other and the bruni itself is you know a decently small build i think it's a little bit smaller than olaf is which makes sense because it's a little bit cheaper too um yeah it relies a good amount on printed pieces uh including this printed car hood um you know that works okay printed 2x2 tile, which they all have like this reflective shiny uh, design to them, which is kind of neat. Um, you know, it's a little bit hard for me to show on camera because my light wants reflected, but you can uh, you can see the overall design there. looks pretty good. So three um, prints for the body and then two prints for the eyes that are identical. Uh, so you, know, you can open the mouth up and close it. It's a little bit awkward if you open it too much, but it gets a little bit awkward too if you close it too much because it kind of looks like it's a little bit of an overbite. Um, but, you know, uh, best angle is probably just something like that. Uh, the eyes can be swung in and out a little. Um, it gets really creepy if you do that. Uh, but, you know, the, the eyes aren't quite perfect. They should be more, like, there should be more head around his eyes. They shouldn't be, like, sticking out of his head like that. Uh, but, you know, you can move the whole head up and down. And you can kind of turn the feet side to side. They're just, you know, like, it's just a simple stud attachment that you can turn because it's a stud. Uh, I don't know if that's, like, an intentional feature or if that's just kind of a, you know, uh, consequence of the design. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of gray on the base, which I kind of just wish that they uh, gave you a, I think this is medium blue. Uh, I would kind of wish that they just gave you one of that color 2x2 two two plate just because, you know, you have a little bit less gray in this guy. Um, but, you know, the, the gray that is here doesn't stand out too, too much. doesn't quite ruin it for me. That's a little bit of an awkward color transition there. A bit of this uh, tail piece, but I think the tail works decently well. And, yeah, I mean, this is not not like a perfect super detailed build or anything, but as a cheap kind of like impulse buy set, I think this is okay for what it is. I think Olaf was probably a little bit more effective. Like, his, his shape was probably a little worse, but, uh, well, I mean, even then, his shape, the shape of Bruni here isn't spectacular. But the one thing that Olaf did do a little bit better was color consistency and color blocking. Um, not that the quality of parts here is bad. I didn't notice any color issues with it, but it's just that the, uh, you know, overall uh, colors, you know, they didn't recolor every single part. And you can put the snowflake in Bruni's mouth and, you know, kind of eat it. That, that is a feature. That is something you can do here. I, I mean, I guess I don't know if it's a feature, but it is something you can do. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is for Bruni the Salamander. I'm not even going to bother cutting to a final conclusion, because, you know, this is everything that there is. Um, if you like what you see here, uh, I think $13 is okay. Maybe maybe it's a little bit steep. Um, I think for $10 would be kind of a really good deal. Uh, and you'll probably be able to get that discounted at some point. Uh, you know, I just needed something to get to free shipping, and figured that this was as good a time as any to get it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's an okay set. Wouldn't go out of my way and say that, oh, it's the greatest thing ever, but not too unhappy that I bought it. So hope you guys enjoyed this little review. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone.